Good day everyone, my name is Nicole Adams and I will be speaking about gender-based violence in modern South Africa, especially in terms of Ubuntu. Gender-based violence is a commonly used abstract term, yet we hear or observe it every day of our lives. It is not restricted to a region or town, but it happens all across the world and impacts both men and women, but profoundly women and girls. How easy it is to imagine living in a world where women and girls have no need to worry for their safety. Without a doubt, it can be said that gender-based violence stems from inequality and patriarchy. Patriarchy can already be spotted in the Bible, in the book of Esther, where the king, the spirit or Charlie of the wine he had drunk, ordered his wife to display her beauty in front of him and his guests. However, beautiful Queen Vashti refused and the king became angry, punishing her for lack of obedience. He then commanded the regions that men should dominate their households and instantly replaced Queen Vashi with Queen Esther. Moral of this story lies in men abusing their power over women. The definition of gender-based violence according to Women for Women states that gender-based violence is violence that is directed at an individual based on his or her biological sex or gender identity. It includes physical, sexual, verbal, emotional, and psychological abuse, threats, coercion, and economic or educational deprivation, whether occurring in public or private life. Violence can be against the LGBTI community as well as between intimate partners. I believe that the most underrated yet overrated violence occurs between intimate partners. Yet, society labels this type of relationship as toxic, or he deserves the best, and she deserves what's coming at her for not speaking up or acting right. Overpowering sexual intimacy and emotional abuse are the most common factors in this type of relationship. Domestic violence occurs in any dysfunctional household where there is a close bond between the victim and the perpetrator. According to South Africa's National Strategic Plan on Gender-Based Violence and Femicide, South Africa is the most unsafe place to be a female. I am not a feminist, nor sexist, nor man-shaming, but I believe that justice has to be served and that all vulnerable groups of our country have to be taken undoing and be well educated about things that too many people are afraid to take stand for. It is a common knowledge that gender-based violence has increased since the lockdown period. President Cyril Ramaphosa and media considers gender-based violence to be South Africa's second and real pandemic. Specifically addressed legislative provisions such as the Domestic Violence Act, the Criminal Law Amendment and the Protection from Harassment Act protects women and children against abuse. Gender-based violence against women and children has created a domino effect in South Africa over the past few years, which refuses to stop, and the only ones who created it can in the true sense of the word really stop it. Ubuntu is an Nguni term, which means humanity, and defined by common folks as Yaisa means, Dira Andr means, I am because we are, and Ubuntu and Gabuntu and Gabantu. The general questions we should ask ourselves is, how do you harm someone when you don't want to be harmed like that? Do you even have a heart? Where is your humanity? The only logical explanation for these questions are that we are all human beings and no two beings think exactly the same and if they do, they probably do not exist in the real world. I hereby conclude by asking, how could a person possibly be a person through another person if that same person who created you wants to harm you? Why do you possibly want to deny or harm yourself when you're not suffering from some kind of mental disease. Thank you.